Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you one more time on this beautiful day, which is Wednesday. Okay. This is the middle of the week. And we'll keep working on this thing, module. Three intermediate. That's the one that we have. It's nice to have you. Welcome, everybody. We're going to have section. Oh, my gosh. Section number two. That's the one we're working on this week. How do you spare your how do you spend your day? Have simple present with double edge questions, pre-intermediate. This is class number three. Okay. So welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. It's nice to have you. Let me check. Let me check participants in here. Okay. Um okay, my name. Okay, give me a minute. Sorry, every name um, here. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Hello, hello. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is section number two. The title is How do you spend your day? Do you understand that question? How do you spend your day? How do you spend your day? With simple present. Oh, there is a mistake here. We have like a, give me a minute so I can, so I can fix this one. Okay, sorry. Oh, there's missing letter T in that presentation. I apologize. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Now I fix that. Okay, we have, how do you spend your day? Do you understand that question? People at home, yeah. Do you understand that question? Uh, Dalila Barahona, do you understand that question? How do you spend your day? Do you understand that? Hello, hello, Dalila. Do you understand the question? Yes, yes. Or no, Laura. Hello, La Laura. Hello, do, you, do you understand the question? How do you spend your day? Uh, oh, la question, this question, this question. Here, do you understand this question? How do you spend your day? No? Don't worry, okay? We will learn that. How do we do a simple present? We will talk about that thing today, okay? So um, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, this is going to be section number two on simple present double-edged questions. And we're going to have like class number three today. Do you have a question before we begin? Any questions before we begin? Right? Um, no, teacher. Okay, somebody raised. Um, that's you, Raul. What's the question, Raul? Tell me. Thank you. Este spam que no es como gastar o que... exactly exactly very good Raúl como como pero la pregunta es cómo vas a gastar tu día o quieres decir qué es lo que vas a hacer en el día no o cómo cómo este ya sé gastas Porque... días right cómo gastas ah, es... Es... Mi spend, teacher. El gastar va exacto mi teacher eso sería cómo cómo vas a gastar tu día exactly right o digamos qué es lo que haces during the day ¿Cómo pasas tu día? ¿Cómo pasas tu día? ¿Cómo pasas tu día también? Ah, right. ajá. Puede ser eso, ajá. O cómo gastas el tiempo en tu día, right? So that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's yeah. the question. And with this one, it's very good because esta cosa with simple present, and I will let you know in general, people, um, my recommendation is get, get simple present in your mind. Porque esta cosa nos ayuda a lot on our daily basis, okay? No se olviden siempre la cámara encendida, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Y igual cuando participe, levante la mano, please. Thank you. Voy a tomar the attendance right now. When you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here, okay? Alison? Alison? No? Okay. What about Ana Marisol? 
Thank you. Uh, Andrea Marisol Represa. Andrea Marisol Represa. No, she's absent. Let me check. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. Say present. Hi. Sorry. Say present or I'm here. Andrea, Vanessa. Landa. Present. present. Thank you. Present. Barbara, Alejandra. Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Are you here, Barbara? No? Okay. What about Brenda, Isabel Castro? Hello, Brenda. Are you here? No? Okay, okay. What about um, Carmen, Carolina? Hello, hello, Carmen. Carmen, Carolina. Oh, perdón, Carolina del Carmen. I'm sorry. Carolina del Carmen Perez. No? She's not here? Okay, she's absent. Claudia Giselle Lopez. Claudia Giselle Lopez. No? Okay. What about Krista? I'm sorry, Cristina. Cristina America. Cristina? No? Okay. What about Daniela Magali Asensio? Daniela? Hello, hello. No? Okay. What about Edgar? Present teacher. Thank you so much, Edgar. Good evening. Nice to have nice to have you. Ernesto Ventura. Hello, teacher. How are you? Welcome, Ernesto. Hello, hello. Griselda Lisset. Griselda Lisset. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mendoza, that's Ivania. Ivania Stephanie Mendoza. Hello, hello, Ivania. No? Okay. What about um, Jennifer Guadalupe Torres? Present. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Jennifer Paola Moss. Jennifer Paola. Hello, hello, Jennifer. No? Okay. What about and Jennifer Andrea Marroquín? Hello, hello, Jennifer. Jennifer Andrea Marroquín? No? No, no? Okay. What about Jocelyn? Natalia Mancia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to see you again. Karen Elizabeth. Hello, Karen. Oh, my gosh. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Okay, here we go. What is the attendance? Here we have it. Thank you so much. Um, Carla Colocho. I think Carla, she sent me a message. Carla Melissa. I'm here. Thank you, Carla. It's nice to see you again. Laura Graciela. Hello, Laura. Present. Hello, present. Leslie Nat Natalie. Leslie Natalie. Present. Thank you. Um, Les, I'm sorry, Lisbeth Martinez. I'm here. Thank you so much, Lisbeth. Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Hello, Lorena. Present. Welcome. Lucia, Elena. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Mayra Arely. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Raul Jose. Good evening, Raúl. Rodi Dalila. Dalila. Hello, Dalila. Present. Thank present. you so much, Dalila. Eh, Ruth Hello, del present. Carmen. Thank you, Dalila. Ruth del Carmen. Hello, Ruth. Are you here? Hi, hi. No? Let's carry on. Um, Stephanie. Abigail, Abigail. Um, I'm here, mister. Thank you so much. Oh, I think we're finished, right? Okay. Let's get one more time into the class. Don't forget that you have the platform. Yes. Oh, that's you, Brenda. Brenda, okay. Give me a minute, Brenda. Thank you so much. At the end of the class, I will take the attendance again for the ones that join us late today. Okay. So 
And let's continue with this thing, which is called section number two. And we're gonna get into a little bit of review with double edge question. Okay, yesterday we were working with questions with double H. Y tenemos el verb to be, right? Verb to be. Si hablo mucho inglés, me avisen. Let me know, okay? Si hablo mucho inglés o no entiende algo, avíseme. Let me know, please. So I can so I can explain to you, okay? It was if, if you want to participate, levante la mano so you can do it. Double H questions with where, who's, and how, and also what. One key thing you need to know when do we use where. Okay, question for you, Brenda. Para qué utilizamos where? In which scenarios do we use where? Uh, ubicación. Exactly, para places, very good. We use word places, right? Where? What about who? Uh-huh, Anna, Marisol. Okay, I'm sorry, Stephanie. Para qué utilizamos? Para referirnos a quién, a personas. Para people, right? People, exactly, okay? Y luego tenemos what? What? Mm -hmm. When do we use what? This one is very popular, right? Pretty much everybody uses that thing. What is para? Para qué, right? What? Qué? Qué? O para qué, right? What? Brenda? Uh -huh. Qué o cuál? Mm -hmm. Qué o cuál, very good. Thank you. Y luego tenemos how. How? How? Para qué utilizamos how? Any idea? Para description. Oh, instructions. Very good. Instructions. Jennifer? Ayúdeme, Jennifer. Léame la question y luego la answer, please. Thank you so much. Eh, la primera. Everything, everything, please. First, okay. Uh, where is your friend? He is in class. Yeah, continue, Jennifer. Todo tiene que decirlo. Everything. Everything. Todo. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Who saw him? Who saw him? Uh, she is my class classmate. What so like? It's a very exciting city. Where are you? Where are you and Vanessa from? We're from Brazil. Who are you classmate? Class? Class? No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Class? Classes. Classes. They are pre pretty inter interesting. What are your classmates like? They are really nice. Thank you so much, Jennifer. That was very good. Okay. So this is the way we use this one, right? Question for you, Andrea Represa. Where are you? Uh, sorry, teacher, can you say again? Sure. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, <laughs> right now? Yes, exactly. <laughs> in my car. <laughs> I'm you in see? my car. Okay, yeah, but in your car. But do you have a location, like a place? I mean... Uh, um, Antigua Costa Plan. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much. That was okay. very good. Let's practice on this one. Give me a minute. Okay. Here we have this, this practice. If you look at this, one, we have some instructions here. And then we have, we need to match. These are the questions and these are the answers. Yes. What you need to do, first of all, we are going to read with this one. Ernesto, ayúdeme a leer this one, please. Ayúdeme a leer this information, please. This one, Ernesto. Okay. okay. Use what? to ask about things. What in your, in your bag? Use where to ask about, please. Where's, where's your friend from? Use who, who to ask about people who's your teacher. Use what like to ask for a description what your friend like. Very That's good. the so question. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Entonces, what do we have in here? Aquí tenemos para qué utilizamos cada una de estas palabras y nos da one example, right? Yeah. In the following exercise, you, you need to read the question and select one answer like this one. For example, who's that? And the answer is letter B. 
I'm sorry, letter F. That's our new classmate, okay? I will give you one, two, three, four, five minutes to do this exercise and then raise your hand so we can do this thing together. Yes? Very good. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you understand the instruction? Do you understand the instruction? Si alguien, si alguien no entendió, me yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. Si alguien no entendió, raise your hand and let me know. Let me know. Okay, raise your hand. No tenga pena, right? No tenga pena. Just raise your hand and dígame, profe. Uh, or oh, Mr. Palomo, I don't get it. Griselda? No entendí nada, teacher. Okay, Griselda. Perfect. Aquí tenemos las questions, Griselda. Yes? Del one, two, sí. three, four, five, and six. Y aquí tenemos las respuestas de estas questions. Yes? Entonces, Ajá. usted va a leer la question y va a buscar una respuesta de la que está aquí y va a trasladar la letter a este blank space. ¿Ok? ¿Y eso que vamos a hacer captura y lo vamos a resolver o hay un link que vamos a entrar? Uh, no, this is just for practice. ¿Ok? Usted lo anota en su cuaderno si quiere. Va, va tomando nota. Acuérdese. Remember, like, this is like, porque ustedes tienen la plataforma. En la plataforma están los videos y están los demás exercises. Entonces, yo les traigo material extra, so you can practice a little bit more. Ahora, sí le recomiendo que lo haga in your notebook. Yes. O si usted quiere, le toma captura, right? Y lo hace en donde, donde esté recibiendo la clase. It's up to you, right? O si no, solo pues, cuando le pida participación, be ready. You know what I mean? ¿Sí? Ahora, si usted lo anota okay. en su cuaderno, pues tiene ventaja, Grisela, porque está aprendiendo más. You know what I mean? Yep. Mm -hmm. Está bien, entonces. Para Solo que se logra en, ver por el cuadrito. Un, ahorita lo quito. Ahorita lo quito. Ahora. Hoy sí. Gracias. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. So I'm going to give you five minutes so you can do this. And when you're ready, let me know. If, if you don't do not understand some vocabulary, uh, let me know so I can help you with it. Okay. Also, if you finish. Just raise your hand so you can participate on this one, okay? Igual, if you want to, you can take a screenshot y lo hace después, right? Si, si, no, si no le alcanza el tiempo, you can take a screenshot so you can do it later. So that's, that's the problem, okay? And again, this is like, no es que me tiene que enviar evidencia. This is just for practice, right? So you can have extra material for you to practice. Yes? Perfect. Um, Let me check here. Esta cosa no me muestra los. Ok. Lorena. Thank you, Lorena. Number two, Lorena, please. Thank you. First, your teacher. Uh, the answer is. E. He is in class. What is the letter? E. Letter E, exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Um, Lucia. Thank you, Lucia. Number three. Number three, yes. what are your friends like? Is mm, A, they're, they're really nice. That is correct, very good. So we a. have letter A. Thank you so much for your participation. That was really good. Okay, again, 
The rest of you, when you're ready, raise your hand so you can participate. Yo, teacher. Okay, who's saying yo? Es que cuando no levantan la mano no me aparece el name. I'm sorry. Okay. Who's, who's saying yo? Dalila. Okay, Dalila. Number four, please. Thank you. Where is she from? Letter A, B. Okay, read the sentence, please. Letter A, B. Mm -hmm. Lea la sentence. Read the sentence. She from South Korea. South Korea. South Korea. Thank you so much. Very good. South Korea. South Korea, right? Very good. Uh, Edgar, thank you. Number five. Who are they? Uh, they are my brother and sister. Letter C. Easy peasy, right? Thank you so much. Great job. Uh, and then we have Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. Number six. Uh, what his name? His name is Daniel. Is oh, sorry. A letter D. D. David. That is correct. Very good, everybody. Great job. This is the way we do it, right? This is the way we do it. Okay. So just keep in mind these double edged words and what is the meaning of each one of them, so you can answer according to the meaning of it. Very good. Let's take a look of something else. Here we have verb to be with yes, no questions, as you may see, right? Again, we're gonna have some information before we do the exercise and then we will practice, okay? Um, let me check, sorry. I don't see your, uh, Stephanie Abigail. Stephanie Abigail? Mister, tengo mala señal. Se me da oh. bien poco la imagen. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. That's okay. No problem. Um, Leslie, you're next, Leslie. Okay. Leslie. Oh my gosh, this one. Up. Leslie. Perdón, estaba tomando agua. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Ayúdeme a leer this information, please. Think. Eh, siempre la número uno. Um, no, no, just read the instructions. Read the instructions. Ah, bueno. Use shorts. Permítame, veo un poquito borrosa la pantalla, pero voy a tratar. Use shorts. Um, um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra que hacía? Answer. Answers to to answers yes or no questions don't use contraction with short answers with yes are you from Mexico yes I am not o en vez de usar yes I am creo que así era verdad exact este último que está aquí es como no se debe utilizar okay so Hannah yes I am yes I am okay um, ¿Todos ven borrosa la pantalla o solo algunos de sus compañeros? No, yo la veo bien. Yo la veo bien. Creo que yo solo son algunos. Yo teacher. también. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, sí, yes, if, if you see it like not good, that's as you may know, because it and a connection issues, right? Um, so I'm sorry. Okay, vamos a, complete the, vamos a completar this conversation using the word to be. Okay. So let's have the first one. It says, are they in your class? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Anybody? Raise your hand, please. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Very good. So we have, quiero ver si puedo utilizar el texto aquí. Ay, espérame, déjame ver si puedo utilizar. No. Esta cosa, they aren't. Esta cosa no me gusta a veces porque es, es, es too big. It's too big. Entonces, no lo puedo hacer pequeño. Mira, por eso no me gusta. Porque no lo puedo hacer pequeño, esta cosa. No lo puedo ni borrar. Teacher, solo tengo una consulta. Este, ¿Sí? Dice de que no se ocupan contractions. Entonces, 
Este, ahí no sería no, they are not. O puedo usar oh. they aren't. Oh, en, la, en el donde no se utiliza es solo con este. Con el en el sujeto. Exacto. No, no, no. Solo con ah. este. Cuando la respuesta es con este tipo, con el I y con el am. Um. Exacto. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Solo ahí. Solo ahí. Ok, con el resto, yes, you can use. So me dijo, okay, no, thanks. they aren't. Wonderful. That's a great question. No, they aren't. Okay, what is next? What is next? What is next? Mm -hmm. uh, hi, is you? Is you in this class? Oh, is you? Mm -hmm. no. Are you are in you? this class? Are you? Exactly, are you? Very good. Don't worry, are you? Are you? Ahí está cosa, are you? Are you in this class? Yes. I am. Yes, I, I am. am. Very good. Yes, I am. Continue, please. Where are you from? Where are you from? Very good. Yeah. Is that correct? No, or is that a mistake? No. Okay. Are no, you no. from the United States? Very good. Vamos con lo simple, right? Vamos con lo simple, que es el verb to be. Are, are, you, exactly. Are you from the United States? What is the answer? No? No, I am not. Exactly. No. no. Aquí puede utilizar contraction. I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, continue. Continue, please. Thank you. What's are next? you free? Oh, are you free? Okay, that's a good one. Are you free? Are you very good? Are you free? What is the answer? No, I am not. I am not. No, I am not. Exactly. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. Continue. And that's, that's the, the new, new student. student. Are Is you he from, from Paraguay? Paraguay? Oh. So we have, are you or is he? Which one is? It's him. Exactly, it's him. very good. Is, is he from Paraguay? What is the next one? No, he isn't. He is from Uruguay. No, he, okay. Isn't, me dijo, right? Very good. Isn't. No, he isn't. He's from Uruguay. What is in the next one? Is she from Indonesia? Indonesia, very good. Is she? Oh, very good. Oopsie. What is the answer? Somebody's writing. Leslie, you're writing. Okay. Uh, what is the letter B? What is the answer? Yes, she is. She is yes, from. She is. Yes, she is. Very good. Okay. So if you notice, esto es acerca del yes. Ok, yes and no question con short answer. Entonces, yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, are you happy? Are you happy today? Yes, yes I am. I am. Yes, yes, I am. So the answer yes, is I am. Yes y very short, right? Yeah. Yes and very short. Porque no les doy la pauta de que me den más detalles, you know what I mean? Yeah. Entonces, no es como... En lo anterior, si usted se fijaba, yo yo estoy yo estoy leyendo. You know. En lo anterior, voy a voy a hacer algo acá. Aquí tenemos las double words, right? Aquí necesito una respuesta completa, ¿ok? Pero aquí ya no, solo necesito yes or no, short answer, ¿ya? Yeah? Vamos a tener un ejemplo, por ejemplo, like, um, let me see, Raúl. Uh, where where is your brother, Raúl? Raúl. Hello. Where is your brother? Uh, is my brother? Hmm? My where brother. Is your... Where is 
my brother is Ciudad Delgado. Exactly, in Ciudad Delgado, right? So, yeah, si usted se fija, la respuesta que me dio, pues Raúl es completa, right? Ahora, si yo le pregunto, Raúl, are you at home? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, yes my home. Yes, I am, oh, right? Yes. Si usted me contesta, yo with oh, yes, I am. That is correct, right? Entonces, hay algunas questions que son bastante directas, que son como yes, no questions. Las answers son very short, que las puedo utilizar con el verb to be. Y cuando tenemos estas double edged words here, I think the answer is complete. Okay, so just keep in mind this difference. Okay, questions again? Questions, questions? No. Wonderful. Very good. Very good. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I'm sorry. I need to delete this thing. You can have it. Okay. Uh, let me check. I'm sorry. I missed this one. Okay. Okay. We're going to talk a look uh, with simple present plus third person. What is simple present? Okay. Mayra. Areli, do you know do you know what is simple present tense? Mayra. Hello Mayra. Do you know what is what is simple present tense? Okay, I think she she does an answer. What about what about Griselda? Griselda, do, do you know what is simple present tense? ¿Qué es lo que debo hacer? No, ¿tiene usted alguna idea de qué es el present simple? Eh, sí, tengo una idea. Ok, can you please tell me? Y tengo entendido que el presente simple es cuando hacemos la redacción de oraciones en... cortitas. Okay. Por ejemplo, eh, yo digo, estoy en mi casa. Este sería... ¿Cómo digo estoy primero? en mi casa? ¿Cómo? How do you say estoy en mi casa? Ajá, entonces, así que son como oraciones cortitas, sin tanto... Oh, ok, yes, pero ¿cómo dice usted estoy en mi casa en inglés? <laughs> exactly. Just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I am just I am just at home. Ah, uh, my house. I am <laughs> at home. I am at home. My at, home. At home. I home. At home. At home. 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 Uh, home. Very good. I am at home. I am at home. At home. Very good. We need practice, okay? We need practice on that. Yeah. Okay. El verbo to be es el, lo primero del present simple. El verbo to be, that little thing. Y les voy a decir esto claro, just to be sure. Everybody, listen. El verb to be es el pan dulce with coffee. Y después de esto, tenemos el desayuno que es simple present. You need to know how to use this one. ¿Para qué sirve el verb to be? ¿Y para qué sirve el present simple? ¿Ya? Yeah. Una vez usted sepa eso, ahí va. ¿Ya? Yeah. So, how do we learn this thing? By practicing. ¿Cómo aprende esto? Practicándolo. ¿Sí? Practíquelo as much as possible every single day. Because that's the key. That's the key. Okay. El verb to be is about simple present tense. Very good. Um, let me check. Give me a minute. Sorry, because I don't. Um, Barbara. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Hello, teacher. Sen, uh, do you have any idea? What, how do we use simple present tense? Perdón. How, cortado. Okay. How do we use simple present tense? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> what is the meaning I know? <laughs> you know? Uh, or no. you don't know? 
No, no sé para qué lo ocupamos. Ok, ok. Thank you so much. El simple present tense es el desayuno porque no tiene que faltar. Siempre está ahí. Every single day. You know what I mean? ¿Qué significa que lo utilizamos para nuestra rutina diaria? Cosas que hacemos todos los días. Por ejemplo, su horario de trabajo, your schedule at work, su horario de estudio, your schedule at, at your school or maybe at your university or college, right? Everything that you do during the week that includes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, I think Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, okay? So, el simple present es acerca de todo eso que hacemos every single day, yeah? Ahora vamos a tomar en cuenta ahorita solo he, she, and it. Lo vamos a ver después later, okay? El resto. Para estos he, she, and it tenemos algunas reglas que terminan con algunos verbos. Entonces, hay algunos verbos que les agregamos es, like this one, yeah? Si usted se fija aquí, mire los verbos, yeah, we have with some characteristic, right? ¿Qué son estas reglas que están acá? Que terminan los verbos with T, C, H, or C, H, les agregamos la I y la S at the end. So we say, watches TV, he teaches English. Luego tenemos, washes, he washes um, his clothes. Luego tenemos Mrs. He misses his friend. He goes to school. He does exercise. He fixes broken bicycle. He studies English. And we have he plays tennis. Okay. Todos estos verbos que están aquí los utilizamos todos los días. Like watches. Teaches, washes, misses maybe, goes, does, fixes, studies, and plays. Um, alguien levantó la mano y luego la bajó. I'm sorry, who was that? Who was that? Okay. Entonces, acá tenemos el verbo y le vamos agregando la es. A todos, si ustedes se fijan, salvo esto que están acá, study and play, pues tienen una característica diferente. A este solo se le agrega S y a este se le quita la Y y se le agrega y latina en el IS. ¿Ok? Entonces, la pronunciación changes. ¿Ok? Porque el verbo original es este que está acá, right? Watch. Yeah. I watch TV. Yes. Pero aquí, mire, I have Andrea watches TV. Yes. So aquí cambia. Luego tengo teach. So I say, I teach English. Pero yo puedo decir, Dalila teaches English. Ok. So como ya estoy utilizando, ya sea he or she, que sería Carlos, right? Carlos, o aquí puede ser Andrea, ¿ya? Yeah. Entonces, yo tengo que parle estas reglas que están acá. No sé si tienen alguna duda con esto. Questions? Eh, Raúl, thank you. Este, eh, la clase y este el ejemplo se lo va este, directamente para los tres tipos de personas. Eh, solo para estos verdad, tres ahorita. Y solo para he, she, it, pero Exacto. para los demás no, ¿verdad? Exacto. Si yo, digo, yo, veo, yo voy a ver la TV, sería allá en watch. Exacto. Por eso le puse aquí, mire. I watch, I watch TV. Ah, pero si yo para digo... los demás tipos de personas no cambian los verbos. Exacto. Para los otros pronombres que son we. Ajá, de, los demás. De ahí para estos tres tipos... De personas sí se tiene que Exacto. tener presente los, los, las Esta reglas. reglas. Estas reglas. Ah. Very good, Raúl. Great job. Yeah. Una pregunta solo, por ejemplo, go, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Goes. Go, goes. Ah, goes. Todos tienen una pronunciación z, a sí. 
Goes, does. Igual, Raúl, como le comentaba. ¿Cómo aprendemos esto? Úselo. That's the way. Úselo. Esto es como cuando usted va al gym, right? Si usted quiere ponerse la... Very good. Tiene que hacerlo todos los días. Right? You use... You do the routines, right? Teacher, y un ejemplo con it, ¿cuál sería? Oh, ok. For example... It, oh, ¿Ya han visto cuando los perros um, ladran? ¿Ya? Yeah. So, ¿Cómo digo perro? The dog. Ahora, ¿cómo digo ladrar en inglés? Anybody? anybody? Bark. Exactly. So, the door, the dog barks. Ok. Barks. Y le agrego la S. Very good. A lot, right? Let's say a lot. Mucho. The dog barks a lot. ¿Ya? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo que dice aquí? Bueno, solo le puse el dog, que significa it. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Perfecto. Igual, fíjense aquí, miren, tenemos la S. Okay, entonces quiere decir que a la mayoría solo van con E, S a D, S, right? Pero hay algunos con estas terminaciones que les tenemos que agregar. Uh, e, S. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? Vamos a ver more examples. Don't worry. Give me a minute. Yeah, de compartir. So I can delete everything. And here we go one more time. Okay. Let's take a look at this example. A conversation. Let me see what time is it. Still have time. We have you two and Austin. Okay. Vamos a have some participants here. Random people. Be ready. Um, Daniela Magali. Daniela. Oh, Daniela and Lisbeth. Daniela Magali, you are you two, and Lisbeth, you are Austin. Ready? Let's begin. Excuse me. Yes. Daniela, usted es Lisbeth. ¿Dónde está Lisbeth? Yes, teacher. Okay, Lisbeth, you are you two, and Daniela, you are Austin. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Nice car, Austin. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives drivers to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The bus doesn't stop near our house, so they take the train. Thank you so much, the two of you. Okay, just a few things with pronunciation. We have public, public, Public transportation. We have bus, bus, uh, and here we have drives, drives. Okay. So if you notice in this conversation, what is this conversation about? Let me check. Andrea Landos, what is this conversation about? Andrea Landos. Uh, yes, a new car. Uh, the public transportation okay okay oh so, what is the question the question is what is this conversation about mm -hmm. i asked him have a new car okay that's right that's right thank you so much so the conversation is about a car right thank you so much um so in here, if you notice, we have some verbs. It's like a, sometimes a typical conversation that make, we, we can have with our neighbor, right? About something. In this case, we have talking about a car. And so if you notice, here we have, he drives. So here we have the rules que teníamos en el cuadro pasado. Okay? Luego tenemos otra vez. Work. My parents work. Don't drive. That's and stop, which is the next thing we are going to have right now. In here, 
Vamos a hablar un poco acerca de affirmative sentence and negative sentence, ¿ok? This is the way we form the, the sentence. Y lo que estaba comentando Raúl, right? Aquí tenemos el he, el she, ¿ok? So we need to be careful with these two. When we use them, when we speak, and also in grammar forms, okay? So these ones, we need to be careful with this ones, yeah? Okay, thank you so much. Participations, let's take a look. Um, Ernesto, ayúdeme a leer esta información, Ernesto, please, thank you. Okay. Um, uh, simple present statement. I walk to school. Uh, I go to school. You ride your bike to school. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation. Oh, I don't live. You don't, you don't live. He doesn't work. Excuse me, aquí, aquí read the complete sentence, okay? Ah, okay, okay, sorry, Please. sorry. Thank you, that's okay. I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work downtown. Uh, she doesn't drive to work. We don't, we don't live alone. They don't need a car. Uh, sorry, sorry, one moment, please. Don't, uh, how do you say igual in English? Equals. Equals, okay. Equals. Don't, Igor, Igor, do not. Uh, doesn't Igor, does not. Thank you so much, very good, okay. So we have a few, a few mistakes in pronunciation, okay, which is live, live, live. and public. Public, okay. Public, Thank you. okay. Very good. Porque es el, es el contexto que estamos hablando. Por eso la pronunciación es live, okay? So, if you notice, right, again, be careful with these two because of this one, okay? With negative, notice we have a characteristic, right? We have doesn't, doesn't. If with the rest, we have done, yeah? With negative statements. Also, if you notice, Aquí tenemos la rule, right? Works, takes. Pero aquí ya no la tenemos. Aquí ya no necesitamos la regla que estábamos hablando, ¿ya? Yeah? Entonces, las reglas solo son para affirmative sentence y cuando sea he or she, Carlos o María. Yes? You got it? Questions? Okay, Stephanie. Sure. Igual, yo creo que en el verbo no aplica al agregarle la S porque lleva el auxiliar de das, dasen. Eh, yes, exactly, exactly. Con el auxiliar nos vamos, ya. Yeah? Con el auxiliar nos vamos. So, when you see it, dasen, oh, that means like simple present and it's negative, yeah. So, we don't need the rule. That's right. Yeah. Somebody else? Questions about this? Entienden el vocabulario that, that you have here? Sí, solamente quiero hacer una pregunta. Yep. Que, ¿En qué terminaciones eh, se agrega solamente la S y en qué terminaciones se agrega la S? Oh, beautiful. Ok, en, en las terminaciones que estábamos viendo en el cuadro anterior, ahorita le comparto, que me amenaza. En este cuadro que estamos viendo acá, oh my gosh. Aquí. En este cuadro, aquí están las terminaciones. Aquí sí termina el verbo. T, C, H, C, H. S, H, S, S, O, X, Y. Entonces, cuando terminen así, pues vamos a agregarle E, S. ¿sí? Y a la mayoría se lo vamos con S. Yep. Igual. With the study and with play. Yes. Ok. Perfect. Perfect. Igual, ¿cómo se aprende esto? Como les digo, use, use that thing. Use that thing so you can uh, get, get um, different examples. Or, or you can hear or you can get confidence on how to use this one. Here we have this exercise here. Uh, you notice, right? Don Michael is talking about his family. 
Ayúdeme, por favor, reading this information. Um, Jocelyn, Natalia, Mancia, thank you. Sí. Uh, Lea me las instructions, please. Thank you. Okay. Tom Michael Omichen is take about his family. Completing the sentence, we the correct verb forms, the comparing with a partner, or ¿cómo se pronuncia la, la... Oh, partner, partner. Partner. Very okay. good. Okay, so in parentheses, we have some verbs, if you notice, right? We have live, lives, walk, walks, work, works, work, works, drive, drives, don't, doesn't, write, writes, right? So we need to use this information to complete the sentence. Volunteers at home? Ok, creo que ah, les voy a dar, permítanme, voy a tomar la asistencia y luego cuando termine la asistencia, pues les voy a dar participation, ok? So, uh, toma el screenshot si quiere, uh, porque voy a dejar de compartir. So you can have it with you. Y voy a tomar la asistencia so, so we, can, we can have it twice today, ok? Here we go. Um, attendance list, one more time. Alison? Alison, Daniela? Alison, Daniela? No? Okay. Ana Marisol? Thank you. Andrea Marisol? I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Andrea Vanessa Landos? Present. Thank you so much. Barbara Cabrera? Present. Thank you. Uh, Brenda Isabel? Brenda. Thank you so much. Um, Carolina del Carmen Perez. Carolina. No? Okay. Um, Claudia Giselle Lopez. Claudia Giselle Lopez. Thank you, Claudia. Eh, Cristina América Monge. Monge. Cristina América. No. Ok. Uh, Daniela Asensio. Present. Thank you, Daniela. Um, Edgar. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Edgar. Ernesto Misael. Ernesto. Sorry. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Griselda Moreno. Present, teacher. Thank you, Griselda. Ivania? No? Okay. What about Jennifer Guadalupe Torres? Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Jennifer Paola. Jennifer Paola. Jennifer Andrea Marroquín. Jennifer Andrea Marroquín. Um, Jocelyn Natalia Mancia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Karen Elizabeth. Karen I'm Elizabeth. here, teacher. Thank you so much, Karen. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Thank you so much. Laura Graciela Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Leslie Natalie. Present. Thank you so much. Lisbeth Martinez. Lisbeth. Present. Thank you so much, Lisbeth. Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Lucia Elena Cepeda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Mayra Mendez. Mayra Mendez. Okay, Raul Jose Reyes. Raul Jose Reyes. Um, Dan, Danila, I'm sorry, Dalila Barahona. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ruth del Carmen. Ruth del Carmen. And Stephanie Abigail. Present. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Okay, let's get back to the exercise we were working on. Just this one. So, volunteers, raise your hand. Oh, gosh. Volunteers? 
Thank you. Let me check. The first one is you, Lucia. Thank you, Lucia. Let's begin. Uh, number one. Uh, number one, and then you go with the second, uh, with number two, which is this one. Worker works. Yes, my family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work near here. Continue. So we walk to work. Our daughter Megan works downtown. So she drives to work. Our son um, doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. That was wonderful. Everything was perfect. Thank you so much, Lucia. Great job. Um, Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Thank you. Number two. Yeah, number two. My, my parents live in the city. My mother takes the subway to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He also uses public public transportation, so they don't need a car. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Everything is perfect. Just retire, retire, retire. But the rest, everything is perfect. Very retire. good. Exactly. Retire. 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 Very good. Okay. You did a great job, all of you. If you notice here, again, just for you to remember, we have this chart where you have he, she, and it again. Just for you to remember how this thing works. Okay. Thank you so much, very good. That was really pretty much very good. Okay, let me stop it again. Okay. Okay, yeah. class number six. Okay, give me a minute. Sorry, I'm gonna show you something before we before we go, give me a minute. Okay, what is that name? Oh. I would have to show you something before we go, which is again related to simple present tense. Maybe you know this thing, but it's just for you to remember how this thing works. Okay, just this one. Okay. With simple present, also we have this thing that is called irregulars, okay? Irregulars. We have this have, do, and go that are irregular verbs, okay? So here we have the pronouns, if you notice. So be careful when you use these three verbs, okay, in English. Be careful, pretty much with affirmative sentence, with affirmative sentence, right? Um, let me see. Um, Jocelyn, are you the me, Jocelyn? I'll this information, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Lo que está en anaranjado. Everything, everything, please. Todo. Yes. A simple presence statements with regular verbs is I, you, we, they, is I have a bike with the our homework every day. My parents go to work by train. He, she, it. My mother has a car. My father does a lot of work at home. The train goes downtown. Downtown, very good. Downtown. Okay. Downtown, very good. So if you notice, mira aquí, with this I, you, we, and they pronouns, we use have, I have a bike, you have a bike, we have a bike, they have a bike. Then we have do with again, we do our homework. You do your homework. My parents, again, because it's plural, we're gonna work with go. But in here, look at this one here. Aquí en el primero cambia. 
My mother has. Carlos has. Andrea has. The dog has. And with my father, we're going to use does. My father does. Andrea does. And so on and so on. And also, when we have goes, the train goes. Okay, so just be careful with these verbs, with these uh, irregular verbs when you use it with affirmative statements. And again, how do you learn this one? By using it. Try to use this thing as much as possible every single day. Úselos, right? Little by little. Okay? Puede empezar con su, ca en su casa, right? Con su familia. Okay? So you can say, oh, Andrea has a car. Carlitos has a motorcycle. Okay? Yeah? So that's the way we practice. People, it was nice to have you. Enjoy your night. Practice your English and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.